Well guys, I am gonna change the oil in my brand new Honda Ridgeline 2023 Black Edition. I just crawled underneath my truck and there you go, it says engine oil, boom, arrow. They even have it marked with a line and everything. I'm gonna change that out and put my Fomoto valve on. Um, Guys, this is super easy. First time doing it. Uh, I didn't even have to jack up my car. Okay, so there's there's my vehicle. I got the black edition. It's got just under 5,000 miles on it. And honestly, I just crawled back there and boom, there was the filter. I'm gonna replace it with this Fomoto valve. <clears throat> So that's the Fomoto valve. It's gonna make your life a lot easier um, to replace the oil in the future. So this is what it looks like. This is this is the bolt. The bolt slides into there. This allows it to, to maneuver. So you can kind of rotate it to where you want it to. And then this little thing here, you just push on it and it opens up. And it drains it's pretty cool okay so um, drains right from that hole there okay now <clears throat> I'm gonna use the mobile one oil filter um, m1-110a and then I also love this stuff okay like this stuff helps a ton with engine wear I've used this on all my vehicles Toyotas, Subarus, you name it. Um, this stuff does amazing, okay? I'm gonna use this. I know it's a little bit higher weight than what they recommend, but I honestly love, prefer to use higher weights for all my vehicles. And to get access into here, I just cranked the wheel to the right. And then you see that little blue thing right there? The little blue thing, that's the oil filter. So. I'm just gonna reach in there. Um, I do have a wrench. I might use a wrench uh, you know, if it's and, and 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 loosen it. I'm gonna hand tight it only. I'm not gonna use a wrench to tighten it. Um, but that's it, guys. I mean, that's the freaking oil change. So probably six quarts, um, five to six quarts, I would imagine. There's the dipstick right there. There's the fill, and then um, that's it, you know? I took off the cover here because honestly, I didn't care for it, and it's not necessary to have the engine cover on. So I'm just keeping it off. Probably, engine probably runs cooler anyways with it. So this is my first oil change in my new truck. So I'll, uh, I'll be back. All right, so here's the original drain plug honestly it wasn't on very tight i was able to crack it pretty darn easy almost felt under torque this is the new one the moto valve that i'm going to slide on here so it's pretty straightforward and easy i already drained it there you go it was way easier than i thought i'm going to put the moto valve on okay guys i'm back and i just loosened that oil filter with a big ass wrench um, here's the wrench I used. Okay, just a nice, nice old wrench. And I loosened it. I turned it left to loose. That's pretty easy to do. And I'm going to show you how to take that off without making a hell of a mess. <clears throat> so, the first thing you want to do, guys, is get a plastic bag. Any plastic bag will work. I just found this one. It looks kind of like a Ziploc bag. So, oh, slide it in. Cover the filter. And then just loosen the rest of it by hand. Hold 
That's it though. I don't think there's too much more oil in this. Anyway, that's the trick that people were telling me on the forums, I guess. the oil guys. This new filter right there, and this little this thing sucks, dude. Right here, so I'm gonna take this off. Um, that's gonna give you so much better access to this oil filter. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. You can do whatever you want, but I'm reading on the forums, a lot of people just kind of cut cut out like six inches of this, or four. I mean, it's probably about four inches I took out. So I can leave it like that, but I'm just gonna take it out so this is all i used i mean you can use whatever knife this is pretty flimsy to be honest it's kind of worthless um just gets in the way when you're changing out that oil filter so just to recap um <clears throat> i have a fomoto valve and i'll show you what it looks like Moto valve guys I installed it it's gonna drain down um, doesn't stick out too much I was a little bit worried because it does stick out just a little bit but 
I don't really do any off-roading. If I did any off-roading, I probably would get a different type of moto valve. But this one's nice because you can adjust it and point to what direction you want it to drain. So, um, it's going to make my future oil changes so much more easier. Let me know what you guys think and if you've put one on your ridge line.